Welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am Lady Walker, and beloved, thanks to Trill for allowing me to come into your home to sup a little tea, java, or whatever you are sipping on with you tonight. And I have a fantastic guest here tonight. She is going to introduce us to who she is and how, or should I say, what inspired her to become director of the Purple Diamonds. Welcome to the show, Shanika Kelly Lee. Yes, well, nice to meet you, Shanika. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Well, I must say you are looking gorgeous. Thank you. You are, so you are, you. are a beautiful <laughs> young woman. Thank you. And you have a baby that is soon to be due. Yes, November 9th. November mm -hmm. the 9th, just around the corner. Yes, ma'am. Okay, mm -hmm. now you are the director of the Purple Diamonds. Yes. So mm -hmm. tell us, what inspired you to become director? of the Purple Diamonds? Well, I've been dancing for a while. Um, I'm a native of Jackson, Mississippi. Um, so I attended Lanier High School where I was a Rangerette. Um, even before then, I was on Brinkley Middle School's drill team. So I've had a love for Majorette and drill team dancing for a while. So I went on to um, dance at Jackson State as well, um, where I received my Bachelor of Science degree in psychology. So just that background just sparked an interest in me. Um, my senior year, I became the instructor of another community dance team here, um, Jackson Jewels. So I did that for about six and a half years. And so when that ended, I still had the urge to dance and I wanted to start a team that was basically, you know, my own, something that I came up with, you know, in terms of the uniqueness, the colors, the type of young ladies that I wanted to, um, you know, utilize on my dance team. And so at that point in 2007, I started Purple Diamonds Dance Team. And since then, we've also added Diamond Misses Dance Team, which is um, our younger sisters, um, our younger version of our team. So we started them in 2011. So what age group are we talking about, the youngest one? Well, the younger girls start at age 11. Okay. I'm sorry, they start at age six and go up to 11. And the purple diamonds? Purple diamonds start at 12 and go up to age 17. Oh, well, and you do have two of the dancers here and yes, well, I have one of my um, captains, well, my head captain of Purple Diamonds, and then I have one of my alumni dancers who also serves as the instructor of Diamond Misses currently. Okay, and they will come on later on in the show. Yes. Now, let's talk about the dances. How, who uh, get the dances together? Well, it's a collaborative effort. Of course, I serve as the head choreographer um, right now. I don't do a lot of dancing, of course, but I have plenty of staff that um, assist me with that. A lot of my alumni come back. Um, the young lady that comes in er later for you um, to see that works with Diamond Misses, she has a twin sister, Charlene, that also serves as my, my assistant instructor for Purple Diamond. So she takes up a lot of the slack where I'm leaving off right now. Okay, now what are some of the challenges that you have faced and getting up a dance team. Even yeah. though it's something that you have always mm -hmm. been interested in and you participated in it when you were in school as mm -hmm. well as in, at JSU, but what are some challenges that you face? Well, there are a lot of challenges. While it is fun and it is my passion, um, there are still a lot of behind the scenes um, things that people don't always get a chance to see. Um, it's something like a business and initially coming into it I did not have a business frame of mind so having to grow and learn how to actually run a business has been well had been one of my challenges but I've basically overcome that and that's been something that I've enjoyed doing being a business owner um, just to add on to that we also have started a diamond dance company which is our um, school that is associated with the team and we offer various classes that way as well so there have been a lot of different challenges, you know, working with those age range. Um, of course, you know, teenage girls can be a handful yes, sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. But you have to just develop that rapport and a, a good relationship with them. And then usually things go smooth and we're able to handle any problems promptly. So what are some of the requirements in order to become a part of the dance team, whether it's the Purple Diamonds or mm -hmm. your other team group? Right. Yes, we have auditions each year, usually once a year, sometimes we'll do another emergency trial. We need a few more girls, um, but what we do, we hold a tryout. Um, they learn the choreography. They have to come in and demonstrate that. We look for a strong potential because sometimes young ladies don't have that dance experience, but we can pretty much tell when we can work with them. Um, but once they're on the squad, that's when the requirements really, um, you know, become visible because they have to maintain a certain grade point average. In order well, to that's perform. good because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes 
Well, I guess it depends on what kind of activity that a student may be in. They think that they can just make, barely make the good grades, no. remain at a certain average, and still participate. Well, I always tell them that academics come first. Um, each term, when the report cards come out, they are required to bring those in, the big girls and the little girls, and they have a certain grade point average that they have to maintain in order to get out there. Uh, we don't put them off of the squad, however, we'll put them on academic probation to give them an opportunity to pull it up because that may mean that they need to learn more time management or spend a little bit more time away from practice to focus on getting caught up in school. Is practice like every day or every other day? Our base practice days are Tuesdays and Thursdays, however, we have a lot of performances usually back to back, so we have a lot of extra practices in there also. If it's a week of a competition, we're liable to practice four to five times a week um, just to get, you know, everything. Is, is it like long hours? Three, not, four hours? Not necessarily. Um, what well, about three hours in the evenings? Um, they don't come until 6.30. Okay. So, you know, a lot of them are involved in activities at school, and then we want to give them time to do their homework before they come, so they won't have right. to worry about that. So usually they're, um, they're there for two hours, but sometimes we will extend it to a Well, how long practice. does it take? How long does it take to learn a new dance, a new oh. routine? It just kind of depends on the difficulty of it, what type of routine it is. If it's what we call a field show, usually they learn those in camp. However, when it's time for the performance, you have to get your formations together. You have to get different effects of how you're going to actually portray the routine. You have to have an intro and then a way that they're going to exit. So it takes a lot of time, but usually once they learn it, we are just perfecting it for those last couple of weeks. Now you said something about usually they learn something in camp. Mm -hmm. So y'all have a camp. We do. We have a um, summer training camp for both squads, and that's when they learn the bulk of their material. They learn their field shows, most of their stand routines, their parade routines, um, a lot of physical conditioning because, of course, doing those type of performances, you get winded, so you have to have that stamina. So that's what camp serves as, just an, a time for them to really get acclimated and see what the team is really now, How about. long is camp? Um, it could be anywhere from one to two weeks in mm -hmm. the summer. And mm -hmm. You said something about parades, so they do participate in parades. Yes, we do. Various ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, we um, do the Jackson State Homecoming Parade. Uh, we usually do the Christmas Parade here in Jackson and in some of the surrounding areas as well. We do the Martin Luther King Parade. Um, we also do a Christmas Parade that's associated with the Medical Mall that we will start back doing this year. So just various parades in the area. So this is a year-round dance team. Oh, definitely, definitely. And it's a full-time business for you. Actually, it, the hours that I put in are full-time hours, but I am a mental health therapist by day, so eight to five, I am working at Mississippi State Hospital in the psychology Oh, really? Department. Yes. And so all of my time in the evenings is basically devoted to Purple Diamonds. That is so mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. So that degree in psychology paid off, Oh, huh? yeah, and I, I, it did. I, that's my career. My, my primary career. However, um, one day I would like to do this full time, especially as we're getting Diamond Dance Company off of the ground and we're growing each semester. So it's Diamond Dance Company mm -hmm. is the name of the right. business. Okay, well, we are going to take a break and we are going to come back and continue along this line. And I'm try by the time we get back from break, I would know if we are going to allow the other two women to join in during the second or the third segment. Okay. All right. All right. Beloved, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Lady Walker Show. My guest tonight is Shanika Lee. She is the director of the Purple Diamonds. Okay, Shanika, let's talk about some of the uh, dance team you all have competed against. Well, we compete a lot in the Jackson area. Um, there are many community dance teams here. Um, we have the Prancing Stepperettes, um, Dancing Dolls, um, Golden Dazzlers, Magnificent Marching Models. Um, there are just a lot of ones that are locally here that we compete against on, on the regular. Um, also, we go to Memphis a lot, and there you have the Prince and Tigerettes, um, the Golden High Steppers, um, the Calvarettes, and those are about the three top ones that we usually compete against. Are you all eventually, at some point in time, aiming for your own uh, TV show? <laughs> no, not necessarily. We actually just, you know, we're content with just continuing to perform. Now, I did see, I did go on YouTube, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I did see some of the dances that 
uh, your girls were performing. They are great to oh, me. Thank you. Like I said, it takes a win. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it tired me out it just does. looking at it. Ooh, they, they were moving. Oh, thank you, thank Oh my you. goodness, but it, it's good to see you know, them perform like that mm -hmm. because they, it's a few videos out there on YouTube, I think. Mm -hmm. There are several. Concerning the uh, proper diamonds. Mm -hmm, yes, ma'am. There are several. Um, we're in the age of social media and the internet, and you can basically find anything you want out there. But there are plenty of um, YouTube videos of various performances from years back um, from Purple Diamonds. Okay, Purple now, diamonds. I know by the time the show airs, the registration will be over with, mm -hmm. but there are some classes that you offer yes we have like I said um, in the beginning we have diamond dance company and in the school we offer um, majorette classes um, adult majorette class oh really have, what um, age group are we looking it at it doesn't even matter as long as you're 17 or older you come in and it's, it's fun we just we, it's a lot of um, you know we learn choreography not too hard uh, we just have a lot of fun a lot of energy we work out as well so it's ten dollars per class so if you're not doing anything why don't you come on that is so us. interesting so where are all the classes held what? we have a, a studio um, on capitol street 1256 west capitol it's located in the same shopping center um, with dollar general and the cash and carry Wait, on capitol mm -hmm. okay at the court of capitol and monument oh okay mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. adults, regardless of the age. Right. We have, like I said, majorette, adult majorette. We have jazz modern. We also have beginners um, tumbling and flexibility for the three to six year olds. And we are starting hip hop this semester. This is our first semester having hip hop. So. So it's a lot of different kinds mm -hmm. of dances. Yes. Yes. And we have you instructors that are versed in each of those types of dance. That wow. Provide the skill. I guess eventually I will certainly have to come down. But mm -hmm. do you, how, how good a shape? Do you have to be in for the adult major class? Yes, it, we have different levels. We have people that have come in that have never danced before. We have people come in that have been J set. So you know, it just depends. We, it's it's nothing, no pressure. We're there to have fun and work out. So. Is okay. It's a, a class. Is there a certain time, like a three month class or? Well, our classes run by semester. So this um, semester we go from September until December. Okay. Then they'll start back over in January and go through May. And I guess the requirements, again, to become a purple diamond, mm -hmm. that starts when? Right. Usually we have our auditions late February or early March, and that's for both teams. And what would you tell uh, young girls who are interested in coming out mm -hmm. and trying out? Well, we recruit by, we usually have flyers that are circulate all over, um, not only JPS, but we have young ladies that go to Terry High, Clinton High. Um, we have... An, girls in Madison County so we make sure that we circulate flyers and of course social media is our main form of you know letting everyone know and then word of mouth of course because you have a Facebook page yes we do um, it's purple diamonds dance team and my personal Facebook page which I do a lot of purple diamond business on it I um, Shanika Kelly Lee also you can find us on Instagram DM and PD or mine is Mrs. Lee to you okay mm -hmm. email address um, yes, you can reach us at purplediamondsfiles at gmail. At gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, going back to uh, Purple Diamonds, mm -hmm. you know, now, I like the outfits. Mm -hmm. How many different outfits do they have? Uh, it just depends. Usually I try to start the season off with at least three to four outfits for each squad. Um, we may start off in, with the first installment, they pay for two, and then as the season goes on, we'll get another one, and then we'll get another one. Do they have any input in the uniform that they, or the outfit that they get? <laughs> well, usually I handle that because I know I, what what vision I have for them. I, I try to have different types of costuming so that we could, you know, utilize different ones at different types of events. So usually, I mean, if they have an idea or something, I will take that into consideration. But usually I just get my pad and my pen and I'll just sketch it out. Oh, you sketch it out mm -hmm. on how yeah. you want the outfit I to do. be. Because my mom, she has a, um, she's a seamstress. She has Kelly Designs, which is her business. And she does costuming for a lot of the other teams as well. But when you have your mom there that can do it, you know, I come up with all kinds of designs. So you are more like a designer, you know, from this standpoint. Kind of, sort of, I guess. You know, <laughs> yes. I get a vision in my head of what I want, the how I want to do the color um, scheme. Of course, it's usually going to be purple and gold or purple and silver for the younger girls. But you can kind of mix it up. So I just sketch it out. And so your mom is the one that put it all together. Mm -hmm. Once you give her the idea, this is how I want mm -hmm. it, she goes and she put it together. Right. 
You know, that's a blessing. <laughs> it is. To be able it to is. do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, eventually, when we come back from break, we are going to bring the two young ladies on. Now, again, who are they? We have Miss Natalia Franklin, and that is the current captain of Purple Diamonds. And we have Miss Charlotte Johnson. She's a former Purple Diamond. She is actually um, one of the founding members. She was on the first line of Purple Diamonds. Um, she was also a Prancing J set, and she was captain her last two years. And currently, she serves as the instructor for Diamond Miss. All right. Well, that's great. Well, we are going to get a chance to find out just a little bit more about them. And again, we are going to re-give that information um, to anyone who's interested and in participating, even though you say y'all go out and scout. Mm -hmm. But people can also, for those who are interested, they can also, um, if they want to put in an mm -hmm. application and mm -hmm. uh, be part of the tryout, they can do oh, definitely, that. definitely, definitely. All right mm -hmm. then. Well, we are going to go ahead and take a break and we are going to have the two young ladies to come on up and join us. Okay. Okay, beloved, we will be right back. The Purple Diamond Stance Team. For more information on registration, fees, auditions, classes, and etc., call 601-951-0679 or email purplediamondsfiles at gmail.com or Facebook and type in Shaniko Kelly Lee or Purple Diamond Stance Team. Instagram DM and PD or visit 1256 West Capitol, Jackson, Mississippi. Welcome back to the Lady Walker Show. My guests tonight are Miss Shanika Kelly Lee, the director of the Purple Diamonds and her former and current captains. All right, and now I'm going to let Shanika introduce you two, so I won't mess up anybody's name. So, I mean, they can introduce themselves, but you could go ahead and then they can You're chime on in. All right, well right here we have Miss Natalia Franklin, and Natalia is the current captain of Purple Diamonds. She's a 12th grader at Murrah High School. Yes. And we also have Miss Charlotte Johnson. She is one of our former captains, um, actually one of our very first captains. She was on the original line of Purple Diamonds. Um, she went on to also become a Prancing J set and served as captain there as well. She's currently the Diamond Misses instructor right now. Okay, well we're going to start with you. <laughs> Um, like she said, I'm Charlotte. Um, I was a former Prince and Jay said, um, these, well, not last year, but the year before that, I did four consecutive years. The last two years I served as captain. Before that, I was um, a Purple Diamond. I held captain position for two years alongside my twin sister. Oh, twin and, sister? Yes, I have an identical, identical? twin sister. Mm -hmm. Just alike? Just alike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now I teach the Diamond Misses, my baby. Okay, your babies. Yes. All right, and you? Um, like she said, my name is Natalia Franklin, and I am currently the captain of Purple Diamonds. Um, I've served on the team six years. This is okay. my sixth year. And this is my second year being captain. So what does it take to become a captain? Basically, a captain has to have a certain leadership about themselves, and I've learned to grow into that because I wasn't that at first because I had low self-esteem. You know, oh, that. did so, you? Yes, ma'am. It was just a long story. <laughs> but, um, long story. <laughs> but yes, ma'am. So really, being a captain is just someone who sets an example for the girls, and you know, it's just that overseer of them or whatever and you know just teach them how to be a good person oh well that's good yes ma'am yes because you should know since you had low self-esteem yes, coming in like purple diamond really has helped me become a young lady that i am today seriously like i've gained confidence just so much well-being and all that so it's really it's a good thing oh, really so you're excited to be a part of it yes ma'am yes, what do you think about the two young ladies well i think very highly of them um that's why they were selected into the positions that they have been. Um, but Natalia has been a wonderful captain. As she said, she has definitely grown into the position. Um, she was unsure of herself and in her capabilities of being a leader of such a large squad in the beginning, but she snapped into that role just very, very quick. Her teammates love her. Um, she's one of the most well-liked captains we've ever had, and she's just a fun person to be around. Um, she will keep you laughing, but she knows when it's time to get serious. Okay, great. 
I call Charlotte my mini me because she has so many of my qualities um, that could be good and bad sometimes. <laughs> But she, I can depend on her. Um, she, I, she came into my life um, at, on Jackson Jewels when she was about 12 or 13 years old, and we have not been able to get rid of each other since then. But um, as one of my staff members, I can rely on her for anything. She knows how to handle business. She's a great dancer. Um, the young ladies on Diamond Misses love her because she has such a kind heart. So these are wonderful young ladies. Okay, do y'all have inputs? Um, well, since you're no longer on the team, so you're no longer dancing, you're not dancing, right? Well, I still dance with the younger ones. I have to teach them their dances, so you yeah, might see me dancing dance. every now and then. Oh yeah, so, and I dance with the alumni as well. We oh, have alumni okay. performances where we come back, and we actually just competed last month and won first place. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> they have a very strong alumni base. Yes. Yeah. When they graduate, they still, as long as they're still in the area, they're, they're always at the studio. They're helping out whenever I need it. Um, they have Purple Diamonds Im embedded in their hearts, and that is something that is such a blessing to the organization. So are you graduated from JSU? Yes, ma'am. Well, I graduate, graduated 2013. Really major? What were you major? Healthcare administration. Oh, very good. Very good. Are you planning on going further in that? or? Well, um, I want to go into nursing. Um, hopefully, I'll get an acceptance letter from Hines. Um, to oh. start in January. Yes, yeah, so you'll be through with school soon. Yes, in May of 2015. Yes, ma'am. So what do you plan on? I plan on. In? Well, the plan is to go to Georgia. Okay, right now, Georgia. You know, out of state fees and stuff. So hopefully the money works out. But I want to be a vet when I go. Oh, great. And I'm still deciding on if I'm a dance there. But if I do, I might. You know. All right. So you, of course, being a captain, you do participate in the dances. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So of course you help create some of the dances. It's it's a it's a real group effort, you know. Uh -huh. Especially with Miss Shanika, you know, being pregnant. And Is baby. it? Yes. So it's 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 a group effort, you know. Everybody helps out with some stuff or intro or outro. Well, how is it with being captain? Do you have to really put some of the girls in check? Yes. yes. <laughs> is it hard to do yes. that? Well, you know, because you know sometimes uh, people will look at you as being mean, and you're not being mean. Yes, but. but the type of person I am, you know, like my girls respect me a lot because we just have that closeness and stuff and they know how I am. So it's not really hard gaining respect. They do have attitudes and, you know, that's a teenager. Yeah. So you got to deal with it. But it's really not hard for me. Not in that aspect of it. No. Oh, did you find it pretty challenging? Because now you got the younger, much younger girls, right? Well, working with the younger girls, um, at first, yeah, it was a challenge because I wasn't used to it, but once I got accustomed to it, it's just like a piece of cake. Yeah. yeah. How many people are, because I'm pretty sure when you go out and perform, not everybody performs, right? As long as they make cuts. We do have cuts for major performances, but what we like to do, we choreograph the dances, so sometimes there are different parts and different aspects of the dance. So say, for instance, if they don't make the cut for the main part of the dance, they'll still get to you know, suit up and be showcased maybe in the entrance or the exit or the second part of the dance where they come out. And Because we don't want to just keep them sitting down if they're not. Right, exactly. Right. So we, we, we try to make sure that the dances are choreographed so that there's a part for everyone. And by how many dances do you all do per performance? You know, when you go out and you perform? It depends on some, like some of the competitions have various categories. They may be, there may be a stand battle, field show competition, the parade competition, and you know, duo trio, which there's like two or three girls. Um, so it just depends on how many categories. If we're just doing a, just a regular performance, then we'll do one main show. Oh, okay. Well, we are going to take one more break and we are going to come back and wrap it up and let you all give out any more information that you believe is pertinent to the people who are listening, the audience, just in case some young girls are interested in signing up, even some of us middle-aged women okay. too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right, little love it. We will be right back. The Purple Diamonds Dance Team. For more information on registration, fees, auditions, classes, and etc., call 601-951-0679 or email purplediamondsfiles at gmail.com or Facebook and type in Shaniko Kelly Lee or Purple Diamonds Dance Team. Instagram, DM, and PD. Or visit 1256 West Capitol, Jackson, Mississippi.
Welcome back, beloved. I myself, I am having a gym dandy of a time, or should I say a fantabulous time, talking with Shanika Kelly Lee, as well as Charlie and Natalia. And if I pronounce your name wrong, forgive me. <laughs> okay. okay, now we only have just a few more minutes or two and a half minutes, so um, give out any more information, any contact information, the classes and all of that, just in case someone is interested. Okay, again, um, we are housed at Diamond Dance Company, which is located at 1256 West Capitol in the same shopping center with Cash and Carry Grocery as well as Dollar General. Uh, we're currently having classes um, this semester. We are offering classes in majorette, adult majorette, jazz modern, hip hop, as well as beginning, excuse me, beginner's tumbling. If you are interested in taking any of our classes, you can come by and register or give us a call at 601 951-0679. Also, if you're interested in becoming a member of the Purple Diamonds or Diamond Misses Dance Teams, we hold registration and auditions in late February or early March. You'll have to just kind of look out for um, social media as well as we have um, flyers that will be circulating throughout the school system. And you can come by and we'll give it a shot. All right, well, Shanika, that was good. I appreciate that. Okay, girls, anything else you want to add to it? Just follow me on Instagram. The name's <laughs> Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> you spell that name to them again. The name's N-A-T-A-L-Y-A. -A -A, all lowercase, Natalia. Okay. And follow me too, underscore, love Charlotte, underscore. And again, you are teaching the younger. Yes, ma'am. And what are they called again? The Diamond Miss. The Diamond Miss. And mm -hmm. they can, the same contact information. Yes, ma'am. Just in case someone <laughs> wants to get their young one into that class. And what age again? It starts at six and goes up to 11. 6 to 11, mm -hmm. and you are dealing with what age group? E 12 to mm -hmm. 17. 12, 12 to 17. 17. Yes, ma'am. All right, well, great. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on you graduating last year from JSU. <laughs> congratulations to you. You are in the 12th, and you'll be graduating soon. Thank you. Thank and Shanika, <laughs> congratulations, because, of course, by the time the show airs, you'll still be with child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll still be with the child by the time the show airs, but still congratulations Thank on the baby. You. Thank you. Thanks, Atria, you all, for coming out and giving up your precious time. <laughs> all right, beloved, there you have it. There you have it, the Purple Diamonds. And once again, thanks, Atria, for tuning in. And our Lady Walker, we'll see you next time on the Lady Walker Show. Ta-ta.